Og nu nyhederne med Natasha Krone. Og tidligere på aftenen der talte jeg med Ron da Costa, som bor i New York og har arbejdet med bandekriminalitet i både USA og i Danmark. Han følger situationen i København nøje og giver her sit bud på årsagen til bandernes verserende krig. It's territory, pride and money. And, and the third one is what will be causing the most of your problems. It's all about money. And then when you look at the money, what type of money we're talking about, it's drugs. Do you think that the conflict between the gangs here in Denmark will escalate even more? It, when it comes to escalation, it depends on what they're actually uh, fighting about. Um, it could escalate as far as tit for tat. That means you get one of mine, I get one of yours. And I think that's been going on right now. Uh, when you say escalation, I think right of way that uh, people are going to be drawn back. Groups of youngsters are going to draw back into their own neighborhoods because that's where you feel safe. You're going to start checking people who come into your neighborhood. What's also going on right here now is that uh, the politicians and the police are discussing what they can do to make this stop. Do they have options that will make these gangs stop their war? As on national level, uh, the police is going to have to do several things. One, they're going to have to put um, pressure on the, uh, on the different gangs um, because we talked about escalation before. What's going to happen is there's probably so much killing between the gangs that the police will get so involved and put pressure on them that um, them being able to make money, once they start losing the ability to make money, the gangs themselves are going to want to dialogue amongst themselves. They're going to want to get together and talk because they're going to find themselves losing a lot of money and it's about the money. So they're going to want to get together sooner or later. I have a controversial idea that uh, Hannah Beck Hansen might be a little, she might break dance on this one or be a little against me saying so, but maybe the police can facilitate a meeting because the gangs are not going to trust each other because they might bring guns to the meeting but maybe it might be an idea for the danish police to facilitate a meeting between the gangs as soon as possible before early before innocent people start getting hurt